All right, viewers, this is going to be a simple uh, pocket dump. Just felt like doing a video on it. I'm just going to uh, try to make this quick. I'm going to go what I started off concealed carrying and end with what I'm carrying now. So this is typically what I carry on a daily basis. Obviously, the most important part of the fire is your firearm. Choose a firearm that's comfortable, and uh, my suggestion is the biggest caliber that you can most accurately shoot. Uh, not that a small caliber is wrong, like a 22 long rifle. Uh, I'd rather have that than nothing, but. Find a gun that is comfortable for you to carry because it's comfortable for you to carry, then you'll have uh, you're more likely to have it on you and that you can control. Because if you cannot control the firearm, it is not going to be a very good self defense firearm. Uh, first gun here is what I started off with is the Glock 19. You get a safety check it here. The chamber's empty. The magazine's empty. Finger check. It is empty, but this comes standard with a 15-round magazine. Um, nothing really fancy done to it. This, in my opinion, though, is just a little too bulky and a little too heavy compared to some other options out there. But a 9mm is a very good self-defense choice. Moving on to the next firearm. MMP shield chambered in 40 caliber. Chamber empty. Magazine empty. Finger check. Nothing in there. Uh, this is a good uh, amount. Lighter. I don't know weight it, so I don't know the ounce di difference, but this is definitely a noticeable amount. Noticeably lighter, I should say. Then the Glock 19. This comes with a seven round extent, extended grip magazine. You get a little bit more grip, or it comes with the flush fit six round magazine. This one I have carried inside my pocket with the six round magazine, but normally I carry it inside the waistband, and I normally just carry the two magazines one in the gun and one outside of the gun. This has been a very good carry, very uh, ergonomic, uh, and the fact that it can be shot like a full-size pistol with the, it's got full, you know, regular uh, pistol sights. You know, I like that. I still carry this, not as often as my next one, as I'll show you, but I do still carry this. It's very, very close between this gun and my next gun. All right, my current carry piece. Just got this. The Smith & Wesson Airweight 642. As you can see, nothing in there. This is a... Uh, Five shot revolver chambered in 38 plus P. So it'll shoot to 38 special or 38 special plus P. Uh, 38s are not a bad self defense round. People have been carrying them for years. This is a unique little model. It was designed specifically for concealed carry. Five shot revolver, uh, steel cylinder. So uh, yes, steel cylinder, steel barrel. This has got just the regular fixed sights, nothing fancy. Internal hammer, so there's nothing for it to snag on on the end, which means a double action trigger pull. Big long double action trigger pull. This I've been putting right in my pocket. Uh, I'm not going to go in depth on it, even though I don't want to. Uh, I could talk on that for another 10 minutes alone, but this 
is the holster I standardly carry. With This will work for both my shield and my revolver. These sticky holsters are really nice. They got like a nylon inside, so the gun's very smooth on the pulling it out. Nothing snagging on the inside, but a rubbery, leather, rubbery material or some sort on the outside, so it stays where you put it. You can put this, I put it in my pocket, I put it inside my waistband. Um, you know, I assume you could, you could somehow ankle carry that. I just... Anywhere there's a little bit of pressure, it'll it'll stay where it's at, and it will uh, stay, like for instance, inside the waistband. If you have a gun inside here and you got enough pressure, just it doesn't take much at all. On this holster, you go to pull the gun out. The holster stays where it's at. The gun comes out. Very simple, very cheap. Yes, this one does have some wear marks. I've had it almost. You know, going about a year now, but if I have to buy, you know, one of these every year, year and a half, it's worth it. It's only 25 bucks, and it works great. Now, there's higher quality holsters out there, but these work. And they weigh significantly less than some other of the top options. Um, moving along a little bit faster here. Uh, what else in my pocket? I have an SOG uh, full tang. Or it becomes a full tank. It's a lockback, is technically what it's called. Lockback uh, key knife. A little over seven dollars at Walmart. I really like this. It comes razor sharp on the box. So be careful. Uh, got some chipstick for moisturizing my lips. Super glue. This is something that really people don't think about very often. I carry super glue on me all the time because I use it just like a band aid. I get cuts and little abrasions on my fingers and my arms all the time, so I carry super glue wherever I go, and it definitely gets used. Next, uh, got my wallet, you know, and finally, this would be as tactical as I get, well, almost. I guess before I do that, I, I do have a Camillus Heat uh, spring assisted serrated knife, but I don't carry this very often. It does get does get carried, just not as often as it used to. The, the pants clip broke off of it, so it's a little bit more difficult to have it not moving around the pocket. But, uh, just got a Swiss Army knife, multi-tool, this thing's got everything on it. It's got a saw blade, it's got two knives, it's got pliers, screwdri two different screwdrivers, tweezers, scissors, magnifying glass, a pen, a toothpick. You know, it's just, it's got everything on this, and I really like it. Give me a little close-up of that. So... This is what I carry on a daily basis. I highly encourage you to carry, if you don't already, uh, be informed on your local gun laws and uh, be prepared to defend yourself. Alright, God bless guys. Hope you keep watching.